Um, this is a 12.5 uh, metre monohull that we're building for um, the village of Takarongo in Aboyang Island, which is the next north northern island of here. Um, the boat is, is being built for, it's basically a village group, and the village group will use it for communication to Tarawa, the capital, from, from their island. They'll use it for transporting of cargo, for foodstuffs to their island, for, for people to communicate back and forward to uh, Tarawa from Abaya. Um, it will be used for a range of things, for the schools to be able to bring students back to Tarawa and take the school students back to their island. These are, these are the sailing canoes uh, for Abayang. These are the uh, sailing, sail is the main source of power and outboard engine as a backup, but also for use when there's no wind. Uh, they'll use a combination of sailing and motor. The, these are the canoes that will be going to Abayang. They're also used extensively on a, on a number of other islands in Kiribati. Probably about six or eight islands would have more than about over a hundred of these now. Since the project introduced these designs was a United Nations project, it's now turned out very popular as a design for outer islands. The, the fishing that they will do will basically be outside the lagoon mostly, uh, trolling for tuna. Uh, the tuna that they'll catch, uh, it can actually be marketed in a number of ways. The tuna, they can actually sell it fresh and a lot of it will actually come back to Taro and be sold fresh on the Taro market. The alternatives to that also is a dried fish product. Um, we also, my uh, company, also do process and dry tuna jerky. It's like a dried, a dried tuna meat. My wife and I have been living here now for about the past five years in uh, Avatau. Um, this is our house over the, over the water. This house was built by my wife's father and people from the village uh, in Avatau here.